When discussing the historical injustices faced by the black community, our minds often gravitate toward the horrors of slavery and the centuries-long forced labor endured by black individuals. Nevertheless, it is somewhat surprising that the inhumane treatment of black people in Germany, both before and during the Nazi regime, is often overlooked or omitted from the conversation. It's intriguing to observe that, in contrast to many other nations, Germany has a notably smaller population of black individuals today. This demographic disparity can be attributed to the atrocities inflicted upon black people in Germany during the 20th century. Welcome to Africa Info Hub. To ensure that you never miss out on our exceptional content, we kindly encourage you to subscribe. Presently, Germany is home to nearly a million black individuals. However, the rich history of a black community in the country can be traced back to the 1880s, and surprisingly, this narrative has largely remained untold until now. In 1933, when Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party assumed control of Germany, the country was home to a population of several thousand black individuals. The Nazi government subjected black people to discrimination based on their racial beliefs, considering them racially inferior. Over the course of the Nazi regime from 1933 to 1945, a series of racial laws and policies were employed to curtail the economic and social prospects of black residents in Germany. This period also saw the systematic mistreatment of black individuals, including harassment, incarceration, sterilization, and the tragic loss of life, with the exact number of victims remaining unknown. The emergence of the black community in Germany was an unexpected outcome of Germany's colonial and maritime expansion in the late 19th century. Thousands of individuals of African heritage from various regions, including Africa, the Caribbean, South America, and the United States, established themselves in Germany, primarily driven by the establishment of the German Empire in Africa in 1884 and subsequent shipping connections. Migration sources included Cameroon, Togo, German East Africa, and German Southwest Africa. Before World War I, the black community in Imperial Germany exhibited three distinct features. Dispersion across the country, a predominantly male population, and a transient nature. Affluent leaders from African coastal regions sent their offspring to Germany for education and apprenticeships, aiming to enhance their political and social influence. Despite strict migration limitations imposed by the German administration, black men from the colonies and other regions frequently journeyed to Germany for skills, education, employment, or participation in exploitative public displays known as human zoos. Most did not intend to stay long term, but World War I disrupted international travel, trapping some in Germany. Even after the war, they faced challenges returning home or relocating due to Germany losing its colonies and the lack of German citizenship, and travel documents for former colonial subjects. During the Weimar Republic era in Germany, a modest black community, mainly composed of men who had arrived before World War I, existed. In the early 1920s, some of these men formed families with local German women. However, racism was deeply ingrained in Weimar Germany, making it difficult for black individuals to find employment, exacerbated by the Great Depression. White German women who married black men faced social ostracism, affecting their job prospects. Within their extended families, black individuals also experienced marginalization. A significant challenge for black German families was their lack of citizenship. Since most black men lacked German citizenship, their wives' and children's citizenship status depended on the husband and father. Without citizenship, they struggled to fully integrate into German society, facing hurdles in housing, marriage, and participation in economic, social, and political life. This lack of citizenship hindered their ability to establish permanent ties within Germany. During the Weimar era, there existed a population of approximately 600 to 800 mixed-race children born in the Rhineland, 
a western region of Germany. These children were frequently referred to in a derogatory manner as Rhineland Bastards, or Rhineland Bastard, by the German media. They were born to white German mothers and mostly to French colonial soldiers, who had been part of the significant Allied military occupation of the Rhineland, from 1918 to 1930. Although many of these soldiers were of North African or Asian descent, they were collectively racialized as black in public discourse. These children occupied a complex position within Weimar German society due to their mixed-race parentage. They faced discrimination based on their fathers and their physical appearances. However, they were not entirely isolated, as most possessed German citizenship through their unmarried mothers. Socially, these children often experienced ostracism and encountered racism from their neighbors, classmates, and even within their own families. Some remained with their birth mothers or their extended families, while others were placed in children's homes or adopted. In the 1920s, the black community in Germany, though small and marginalized, gained recognition amidst the vibrant Weimar cultural scene. Germans' growing interest in African-American music and performances provided opportunities for black individuals, whether of African-American origin or not. They showcased their talents in theaters, circuses, films, nightclubs, and cabarets. This trend attracted touring African-American artists like Josephine Baker and Paul Robeson, offering employment prospects to former colonial subjects and their descendants, albeit often in roles perpetuating stereotypical images of black people. Although this line of work was often seasonal and unstable, it had the potential for significant financial rewards. Furthermore, film sets, theaters, and circuses served as spaces for black individuals to connect and foster a sense of community. Oral accounts suggest that touring black performers frequently established connections with resident black Germans in the cities they visited, or who were part of the touring circuit. Under the Nazi regime, the situation for Africans in Germany deteriorated significantly. While initially, the Nazis primarily targeted Jews with their racial policies, their focus broadened over time to include individuals of African descent. After Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party came to power in 1933, they enacted discriminatory racial theories into law to create a racially homogeneous Germany, with Germans belonging to the supposedly superior Aryan race. Jews, Romani, and black people were deemed non-Aryans from supposedly inferior races, leading to restrictive laws affecting these communities. For black Germans, this era marked escalating persecution, marginalization, and isolation. Institutionalized racism infiltrated every aspect of German society, making it increasingly difficult for black individuals to find and keep employment due to racial discrimination. Job loss, evictions, and economic hardship became common, with strangers openly subjecting them to derogatory slurs and even physical abuse. In September 1935, the Nuremberg Race Laws formalized these beliefs into legal statutes, initially directed at Jews but later expanded to target Romani and black individuals. These laws restricted citizenship based on German or related blood and prohibited interracial marriages and relationships, particularly affecting black Germans. The Nuremberg race laws imposed severe challenges on black people in Germany, especially those of reproductive and marrying age. While technically allowed to marry each other, such unions were rare due to the small black community. Even when some black individuals and German Aryans engaged in romantic relationships, marrying posed risks, as everyone had to seek permission to marry, and interracial couples consistently faced denials on racial grounds, leading to government scrutiny, harassment, sterilization, and relationship breakups. Even pre-existing marriages faced Nazi pressure, with white German women married to black men, pressured to divorce. Black children in Nazi-era Germany experienced increased loneliness, isolation, and exclusion, akin to their parents. Some identified as German but faced challenges in schools, 
where racial science classes and ridicule from teachers sympathetic to Nazi ideology were commonplace. As the Nazis tightened control over the education system, black children's rights to attend public schools were severely restricted, and some were expelled. Private schools were also hesitant to admit black students, making it harder to find apprenticeships for future employment. Initially, discrimination against black school children varied by locality but became more formalized under Nazi control. In March 1941, the Nazi government formally excluded black and Romani children from public schools, deepening their isolation and marginalization. The Nazis, obsessed with preventing race mixing, forcibly sterilized black individuals in Germany to halt future generations of black Germans. This was in addition to the Nuremberg laws banning interracial marriages. Some underwent forced sterilization under the 1933 Law for the Prevention of Offspring with Hereditary Diseases, targeting those with disabilities like the Minderwertig or Feeble-Minded. Ferdinand Allen and others faced this fate, often followed by tragic deaths in the T4 program. In the 1930s, a secret Gestapo program forcibly sterilized multiracial children in the Rhineland, affecting at least 385 kids coerced into consent. During World War II, the Nazis escalated the forced sterilization of black individuals, especially targeting teenagers entering puberty or becoming sexually active to maintain racial purity. The war also led to harsher Nazi policies, imprisoning black individuals in institutions and concentration camps. Some, like Maja bin Adam Mohammed, Kurt Schramm, Martha Ndum, and Eric Ngando, tragically perished. However, others survived, sharing their stories and commemorated with Stolperstein plaques. Germany has made efforts to confront its history of racism but still grapples with ongoing marginalization of black Germans due to flawed policies and the absence of Afro-German representation, perpetuating stereotypes and hate crimes against them. What did you think of our video? Please share your thoughts on our video in the comment section below. If you found it enjoyable, we encourage you to spread the word to your friends and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with your social circle on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter as well.